video, we're gonna talk about plateaus. And this is per request of somebody who works out here and they had some questions, and so I'm gonna answer them and help you as well. So what do we do when we hit a plateau? How do we handle it uh, mentally and how do we handle it physically so we can overcome plateaus and continue to see success? Now the biggest problem with plateaus is that they can be mentally frustrating. Oh my gosh, how many times have we got into a, a plateau and tried to punch our way through this wall, not make any progress, and then throw in the towel. Get super pissed, go back to what you were already doing, which isn't what you're supposed to be doing, and you end up gaining weight back, or you end up losing strength, or you end up not exercising anymore, and all of your progress has been for naught. It's pretty common, right? So in order to fix that, in order to avoid that, you gotta do a couple things. When you hit a plateau, don't get discouraged, don't get frustrated. Actually, you should pat, pat yourself on the back because what you've done has moved the needle so much that you need to reevaluate how you're moving the needle. So you've done so well that you need to kind of change things up in order to continue to see good results. So that's actually a really good thing. You've been doing great. So you should actually be putting a pat on your back because not many people will put in that amount of effort to even get to a plateau, so congratulations. And then the other thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna to continue to do the same thing you've been doing, hoping that you can just run yourself through this brick wall. It's not gonna work, it's gonna hurt you way more than it's gonna hurt the plateau, so don't continue to repeat the same actions because those actions got you all the way to here, which is great, but it, obviously those actions aren't gonna move you any further, so we need to change something. So what do we do? Well, it doesn't need to be complicated. You don't necessarily have to do some sort of cleanse, some sort of reset, something like that. I mean, that might work, but I would focus on the three major ones first, and if for some weird reason, those aren't the answers to your problem, we can start going into more minor, uh, minor solutions, which would be like resets and you know things like that. But chances are the answer to your problem, the answer to your plateau is in these three things. One, calories, two, strength training, three, sleep. So one, calories. Are you in a caloric deficit? If you're not, you need to be in one, so there's the answer to your problem. Two, uh, are you in a severe calorie deficit? If you are, you might wanna consider eating a little bit more so you can fuel your body with more nutrients because it, chances are you're just running on E at this point and it needs more energy. If you're not in a severe caloric deficit, just evaluate how severe where you're at and uh, if you need to eat a little bit less or if you need to eat a little bit more uh, and then pick one and then see some data and then go back to the drawing board if that wasn't the right direction that you wanted to go and if it was the right direction you wanted to go, continue on doing what you're doing. If you're gonna eat a little bit more, eating a little bit more after you've been in a caloric deficit will spice up your metabolism a little bit. And the reason why is because when you're in a caloric deficit all the time, it does wear down on your body. And so by eating a little bit more than you probably should be eating for maybe three to five days, it's gonna make you feel a little heavier because you're not used to that, but it is gonna spice up that metabolism the way that you want. So when you go back into your caloric deficit, hopefully it gets you over that plateau. Uh, let's talk about number two, strength training. So if you're not consistently strength training, there's the answer to your problem. You should probably tackle that first. If you are consistently tra strength training, what's your effort? Is your effort kind of, eh. is your effort really good? Take a look at that. Is it consistent all the time or not? Uh, and after that, I would start isolating. Am I making any progress with my strength training? So do I come into the gym and work really hard but make no strides to get stronger? Am I tr not really trying to move heavier things? Am I not really trying to be able to do more reps with the weight that I can move? And then I would start focusing on progression. So if you can do a bench press with 30 pounds on each arm, a dumbbell bench press, I would focus on trying to do 35 for the same amount of reps, and then from 35 to 40, and then from 40 to 45, and that's gonna help you get over the plateau as well. And then the last one would be sleep. Most people undervalue sleep because they don't really think it's gonna play a big role, but lack of sleep spikes your cortisol levels, spikes a bunch of different uh, hormones that counteract fat loss, and that can be a big problem for many, many, many people, especially people with kids, because they run, they run rampant all the time. So if you want to see better results, the answer might be in your sleep. So go to bed. Stop binge watching Netflix till 11 and go to bed at nine. And I would just want you to evaluate those three things, kind of go down those rabbit holes a little bit, and then, then you gotta give yourself time to see the results. A lot of people will change something with their programming, but then they'll only do it for like a week 
and then they say, oh, that didn't work, I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. You gotta give it time to develop. So if you're gonna change your calories, you gotta give it a month of changing your calories around and then being consistent with that new, de- you know, that new solution or that new decision. Uh, if you're gonna change how you focus on your strength training, if you're gonna focus more on progression and less about just coming in here and moving things around and kind of spiking your heart rate and being done, then you need to consistently do that for a little bit longer than a week in order for your body to recognize what's happening. And if you're gonna change your sleep, you need to consistently sleep more for a long duration. You can't just go to bed on time two times out of the week and say that you're sleeping more. You have to sleep more consistently. So whichever three that you decide to go down, you have to give yourself time to create some data for yourself. Once you have data, you can actually start making an educated decision on whether or not the rabbit hole you're going down is actually the right rabbit hole for you to fix this this particular plateau. The only way to get over plateaus is to problem solve it like this. There is no science to getting over a plateau. There's anecdotal evidence and there's experience and there's understanding the body that you're dealing with. So if it's your body, then you need to start to understand it. You need to start to listen to it. You need to start tracking what you're doing so you have data to look at and make educated decisions with, which is why we track so much stuff in here because it gives us a better opportunity to go down the right rabbit hole when it comes to plateaus, when those things come. Because everybody deals with plateaus, you can't avoid them. We just need to know how to tackle them correctly. And chances are your problem is going to be solved by these three things. Calories, strength training style, or strength training focus, how you're thinking about your strength training, what you're doing with your strength training, how you're progressing. Are you even progressing at all? Start focusing more on progression, and then sleep. Okay, so I hope those helps. You don't need to do cleanses, you don't need to do, you know, um, weird diet tricks to try to get over a plateau. Those things are very, very minor. Very small amount of people need to do those things in order to get over a plateau. Most people have to get over plateaus from those three things, which is not the sexy sizzle stuff that we all want to read about. It's the, it's the real work. You got to do the real work. And that means you got to change how you're doing the real work. So I hope that helps. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, it's Bye. Coach John. I hope that video helped. And uh, if you have more questions, if you want to have your questions answered on these videos so I can help you and I can help a lot of other people, then post them in the comments and I'm happy to make these videos with you. I think a woman named Jennifer asked me to make this one and I was happy to do it. And so post your questions in the comments on whatever social media you're watching this on and I'm happy to help you. Now, if you want me to coach you, if you want to be on my team, either offline or online, click the link somewhere around this video, schedule a free consultation with me, and then we'll get to work. If not, it's okay, it's no pressure, but I already know that I can help you a lot faster than you're probably helping yourself. So come work with us, but at the very least, just keep watching these videos. I love you. Bye.